Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta work up out my sleep for spirit to do these videos. It's been irking me a long time to do it, so I'm trying to do it and group this up and go back to sleep. Welcome to Blunt Syrup. We're gonna gather all these up today as once. We're gonna do air signs. Oh, look, they are ready, ready. Air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody is definitely has a message here. The spirit wants to hear it. I usually work alone, not <laughs> on YouTube, but I'm here. Okay, Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. Okay, first we have first off the gate is it's not personal. So it's something going on. Somebody sent the message to you and they basically want to tell you it's not personal. They want to be like <laughs> lay the swords down. And they let their shield down, but it's still up. They got a shield around their heart. You hold a piece of their heart, but it's still shielded too. So they like, it's not personal. I do everybody like this. You know, air sign. This is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, it's not personal. And then it says get grounded. Um, I think air sign just got this too. Get grounded. Um, it's not personal. Get grounded and be grateful. The last card was be grateful. Be grateful for your house that you have. Um, your children or your witch trial, your growths, your experiments. Somebody might get ready to sign a deed to a house soon. Um, so I'm dealing with the house. Um, you know, everything is growing. You plant these seeds, you put shit first, you know. So, most definitely. Um, you got to start getting grounded, though. You know, you got to add some shit, subtract some shit, take some time for you to release all these other energies that's blocking you because there's no way you should have been taking anything personal. Remember, take what resonates, lead the rest. Um, on the bottom card, we got clear the past. So you need to clear the pledge. You need to clear, clear your chakras, clear all those chains and stuff that have y'all bound down. You know, some people going through some changes to where they don't feel grounded. They ready to fight and tear up stuff. You know what I'm talking about? They don't care about none of that stuff that you that, that everybody talking about. You know, you need to go ahead and repaint your life together. Unbind from these chains and barriers you got down. Let your heart fly. Let it soar. You got your heart guarded. You know, you ready, you ready for action. <laughs> these air signs is ready for action. If I was being nosy. It's a sound check. Someone's listening. Someone's listening to all this stuff that you can put to somebody's ears or somebody that went to somebody and told somebody some stuff. You know, you need to clear a path. You need to clear a fat, clear a path. You know what I'm saying? And clear the past. A path and a past. You know what I'm saying? That clearly. You might just super early where I'm at. So let's hurry up and get on with this. Sorry to rush. But I was woke up by my sleep numerous times, and it's been going on for months, and I've been ignoring it, and I cannot ignore it <laughs> anymore. So let's go on to this. We need the messages for Libra, Gemini, and Aries. Messages for Libra, Gemini, and Aries. We need the messages for Libra, Gemini, and Aries. Woo! Oh, okay. okay. Let me get them because I they was meant to come out. Okay. Okay. So this is why you taking it personal, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because you feel like it's messing with your livelihood, it's messing with your world, your 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 thought process, your seeing process. 
and you don't have the strength to deal with this ending or this new beginning that's starting on some completion, something is done and over or something is beginning and starting. Um, and you're not walking away from it. You're not walking away from it. You're trying to stick it out, but you keep looking back into the past. Um, sneaky energy. You keep looking back into the past. You don't even feel like it's another path for you to take with this person. You don't have the strength. It's like a dead-ass situation, dead-end situation, or a new beginning, a new start. But you're not walking away from it, and you keep looking back to the past. So, you know what I'm saying? Right here where it says it's not personal, you're making it personal. Looking back into the past, into your future. That's not cool. Leave the past in the past. Let it be. You know what I'm saying? Get grounded. Now we might do some clarification cards for getting grounded. Because all them suckers fell up out of that. Clarify getting grounded for leaving them in our face. Give me some more messages for getting grounded for leaving our face. Air signs. Getting grounded so somebody got some secrets and somebody is trying not to have their secrets revealed. This person can't get grounded because other things they're bonded to. Oh, here we go. All right. So, it's someone coming in because they don't feel trapped. They didn't find out about these secrets or a piece of the hurt, something through the grapevine, somebody talking about something. And there hasn't been no communication with this person, reason why you need to get grounded. Embrace yourself. Get grounded and embrace yourself. This air is swift, honey. Clarify to be grateful, cards, spirit, for the air, cards, and the Gemini, Aquarius. Due to the Mercury retrograde, things is not going in your way. And you like, hell, I deserve this. I deserve that. And as a matter of fact, you know, that's what these um, air signs, one of these air signs is expressing clearly. And my cup is not full. And this should be this. And this should be that. And that's why I say don't take it personal. That's why this person is about to run right into some bullshit. And the person that feel like they trapped is not going to be trapped no more. And they're not going to be communicating no more after this. So what does this say? And be grateful. Okay, so you got being grateful with what you have. And I feel like somebody was spying on somebody, possibly looking looking forward towards something. Probably dealing with the fire sign. Someone's very emotional, but so serious. Serious about their structures. Okay, and they're not doing nothing about it. So it's just like this person is like, be grateful for what you have because you don't have this, but you have this, but you're not doing nothing about the situation. So be grateful for what you have and all the things that's coming to you. Uh oh. Right, it's a completion as soon as you get up and do something. This person doesn't feel like they have to do something, okay? And you're tired of juggling it. So we're going to go in reverse. You're tired of juggling this, this situation. Somebody is definitely juggling. Now let's clarify some of these cards. Okay. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. 
Notification about Libra Gemini Aquarius. Looking back at their past clip. So, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Ooh. I'm looking back at the past. Okay. So, about the past. Someone is done with the emotional trauma of the past. Rocky. Very rocky. Choppy. Probably on and off. Um, this is actually Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy for somebody that might have water in a chart. So they tired of being emotional, stuck with this person, trying to trying to be with the give and take. With the give and take, and this person is just not seeing the situation no more. It's not trying to figure out whether they should be with this person or leave it behind. They just like done with emotional, the give and take. And far as staying is out the question. So why you keep looking back? Um, air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Just clarify the no communication. Clarify the no communication for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Clarify no communication. Bam. Okay. Okay, because you you're not communicating with this person because you like it's pointless. I might as well move on and work on something else. But you keep looking back <laughs> at what could have been the give and take y'all used to have before this person turned their back. So you feel like hell. There's no judgment here. Ain't no need for me to keep working on this. I'm about to go work on something else. And why? Oh. Up under the bottom. It was a burden. It was a burden. You're trying to withstand this stuff on your own. Okay, clarify the secrets. Clarify. Ooh. All right, secrets is popping, okay? <laughs> so, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, the secret can be involving, um, you, or if you're dating a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this person, um, about a third party situation. So that's probably the reason why you keep looking back because this other person's going to come run right into these secrets that you're hiding. They're going to be all riled up because they ain't going to feel trapped no more and they ain't going to have to think about making the, the, their next decision because there ain't going to be no communication. They're going to cut communication because they keep looking back at the past. They keep looking back... Let me turn this up. I don't know if y'all can hear it. The phone is totally jacked. But okay. They keep looking back at the situation of the give and take. See, they looking back at what was given, what was put out, what was received. But in the end, they still end up like, I don't want this. Or this person was like, this ain't going to work. After all the work and emotions they put in. And that's why this Queen of Cups is in reverse. Emotions is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So there's no judgment. This person say, I can't get no justice or no judgment out of this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to move on, on to the next. You remember, this is blunt tear. I'm out here to sugar coat, especially this early getting caught up on my sleep. Okay, yeah, it's a third party situation going on with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, the star card usually represents Aquarius, uh, right? Um, so the secrets had to be somewhere around the lines of, yeah, third party situation. Maybe this person has a secret, you know, maybe with a child. Let's see why Libra, Gemini, Aquarius should be grateful and why they're not doing nothing. Let's just see. Hey, they not doing nothing because they like <laughs> Mercury retrograde or not, spying on me or not. This is serious to me. I'm not playing. I'm not doing stuff. 
you can hide this other bullshit behind. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go with it. And this person is walking away from this situation. Waiting on something else to come in. And that was confirmed by this down here. Moving on. It wasn't no justice. So moving on to something that's worth your time or working on. And I ain't mad at you. Okay, we gonna, there was one more I want to clarify here. Uh, okay. Why is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, keep looking back at this situation other than the emotional spirit? Why are they looking back at this whole situation? Because they still feel for this person. It's like they want to contact this person. This person want to contact them. They still feeling for this person, but this is moving slow. They're like, uh-uh, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do everything to keep myself occupied. Okay. And then we're going to move on right along to... Yeah, we're going to move this along a little bit fast. Okay. To the Romance Angel deck. So, ooh. What's going on? They popping out for y'all. And popping out. Let me get two more cards for the Romance Angel Spirit. For Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me get two more cards. Please. Let me get two more cards. Let me get in. Aquarius. Oh my cards here for you. This is my curious first time. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that one, y'all. <laughs> see, I'm still asleep. Okay. It's saying, love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, if you're not loving yourself and taking care of yourself, how do you expect somebody else to? You got to think about that. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Carl. What's next? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. But before you discuss your feelings with each other, you need to discuss um, your feelings with yourself. It all starts with self first. You got to love yourself before you can love somebody else. Okay, and your third card you had was um, unrequited love. There's not enough action or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It, it explains it. Clarifies why you moving on because you're like, I don't I don't see nothing happening here. Uh that's to anybody's benefit, and especially yours, um, Aquarius Libra, Gemini. You like, I'm moving on to the next situation. And on the bottom of that deck, we have this it was in reverse. This is not your soulmate. This is not your soulmate. I think you kinda knew this, but you're still reflecting and then you got some other stuff going on with this part of the situation. So it's just all over the place, okay? Let's see what opposes this situation. Let's go ahead and see what opposes. I asked for three cards and damn sure got them. Okay. Ugh. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Okay, first card is out. Okay, so maybe it, it was a child that was meant to be. Maybe it was abortion, miscarriage. Or you felt like you should have had children with this person reason why you keep looking back into the future maybe trying to think of things that you could have salvaged you and the only thing good thing you can think about is the give and take or maybe there wasn't no give and take and you had all these plans for the child that was meant to be um and there's a lot of chains and bondage and anger in this relationship that's why it's not enough attraction to keep it going you can't have attraction and tragedy in the same in the same boat and expect it to taste good. In the same bowl, expect it to taste good. And this person <laughs> has an artificial heart. This person cannot feel for you. This person cannot feel for you. This person can't see your pain. They see their own pain. It could be your pain you're experiencing, but they will flip it into their pain, whoever you're dealing with. 
whoever you're dealing with. Now, that's the love card because I didn't win a little bit over, but, you know, anything for these spirits, okay? All right, let's get a love card going on for Air Size, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me get it. Let me see. Let me see. This is an extremely large deck, you guys, so bear with me. I love card for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, there you go. Jump up out the deck. Spend quality, quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. Well, maybe you can sort out some of the things that you should, you feel like you should have got through to this person, and maybe they listening now. Because remember, maybe the listening ear, maybe somebody had a listening ear, or maybe somebody wasn't listening before. Now they want to listen. Um, If you want a further detailed reading, it just resonated with you, good. If it didn't leave the rest, if pieces did, that's what's up, blessings. Um, this concludes everything for the Air Signs Libra Gemini Aquarius. You can contact me for a more detailed read at Facebook at Blunt Terror. Blunt Terror. All right, y'all. Blessings.